Nigeria. And he's going to be bringing talk and prayers for the church. Please put your hands together as we welcome Bishop Wale Oke. Praise God. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody who has been blessed already through the praise, the worship, and the prayer of tonight, shout a loud hallelujah. Somebody who is still expecting greater blessings, shout a greater hallelujah. First, before I go into the word of the Lord, I want to celebrate Daddy and Mommy, Daddy Gio and Mommy Gio on the occasion of this year's Congress. More grace to you, Daddy and Mommy, and the entire leadership of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. Please, can we celebrate Daddy and Mommy? Give Daddy and Mommy a big hand to the glory of the Lord. I want to particularly give thanks to God for Daddy for many things he has been to me over the decades, but particularly since I became the national president of the Pentecostal Fellowship of Nigeria, uh, he had been a pillar of strength, a tower of wisdom, and each time I look behind and I see Daddy, I get really, really highly motivated. Daddy, I am very grateful. Please help me celebrate my daddy. Glory to God. Tonight, I'll be speaking to us shortly, and we pray on the church and binding and losing. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for another Congress, another opportunity to come into your presence. In your presence, the fullness of joy and at your right hand our pleasures forevermore. Lord, let your word come, O oh God, with fire, with grace, with glory. And Lord, ignite in us the passion to pray and to pray through. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Now, let's open our Bibles to the book of Matthew, chapter 16. A very familiar passage of the scripture, the eternal undying word of God that is fresh every day. Matthew chapter 16, I read from verse 15. He said unto them, that's Jesus speaking, but whom say ye that I am? And Simon Peter answered and said, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Blessed art thou, Simon Bajona, for flesh and blood has not revealed it unto thee, but my Father which is in heaven. And I say also unto thee, that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. And I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatsoever thou shalt lose on earth shall be loose in heaven. Somebody say amen. amen. Here the Lord Jesus Christ was leading his disciple into a deeper knowledge of him. They had been following him close to three years by this time, but they had not really known whom he was, and he wanted them to know him, just like he still wants us to know him. And there are levels of the knowledge of God. 
levels of the knowledge of Christ. There is a foundational level when you know him as your Lord, as your Savior, the one who died for you on the cross, the one who shed his blood to redeem you, the one who was buried, the one who rose again, the one who is alive forevermore. When you believe him like that, you become saved, you become born again. That's foundational. That's fundamental. But God wants us to increase in his knowledge because grace is multiplied through the knowledge of Jesus Christ our Lord. The truth is we cannot know everything about him where at this side of heaven. It takes the whole of eternity we will see continue to discover him. But he wants to lead us from knowledge to knowledge day by day because as we increase in the knowledge of Christ our Lord, we increase in grace, we increase in power, and we rise to a new level of glory. I want to declare to somebody listening to me tonight, you are moving to a higher level of glory. The word that will lift you to a higher level, the level you have been dreaming about, the level you have been fasting and praying about, the word that will lift you there, that word will come to you today. By the time you are going home, you will never remain the same again. So he spoke to them and asked, who do you say I am? Of course, God gave Peter a revelation. He said, thou the Christ, the son of the living God. All right? And Jesus went on to say, yes, you get it right because my father revealed it to you. Now he said, I'll give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Whatsoever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatsoever you lose on earth shall be lost in heaven. This word did not belong to Peter alone. It belongs to the church. The church is the body of Christ on earth with Christ himself as the head of the church. All who are his disciples, all who have been truly born again are the children of the living God and this scripture is for them. If you are saved, then you are washed, you are sanctified, you are justified, and you are a child of God, and this scripture is for you. It says, whatsoever the church shall bind on earth, shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever the church shall lose on earth, shall be loosed in heaven. Now we need to rediscover this. At this time in the world, there's so much of crisis in the world, famine, wars, all over the place. And the church must not be sleeping. It is when people sleep that the enemy will come and sow tears among the wheat. When the church is alive, the church is awake and the church is on fire, then there is no way the gates of hell can prevail. And I want to decree over your life today, the gates of hell shall not prevail over you. The gates of hell shall not prevail over your family. I want to decree over the church in Nigeria, the gates of hell shall not prevail. The, I want to decree over the church in our nations, nations of the world, the gates of hell shall not prevail. Let everyone hear your loud amen. How do I know? The master said it. The king of the universe, whose word can never fail, said it. He said, I'm giving you the keys of the kingdom. The keys of my kingdom that rules over all. When people don't allow me to rule, I show them who is in charge, I overrule. I let them know that mere mortals cannot stop me, cannot stop my kingdom. And the same with the church. What Jesus Christ said here is that whatsoever the church forbids on earth, 
is forbidden in heaven or whatsoever the church prohibits on earth is prohibited in heaven when we see an evil plot of the enemy and the church says no then heaven says no when we see a device of the enemy to create wars and trouble and chaos in our nation or in any nation and the church says no somebody say no say it louder say it like a warrior because heaven is saying no when the church says no and the bible says jesus said it whatsoever the church permits on earth either willingly we permit it or negligently through carelessness or through ignorance or through conniver we permit it then it's permitted whatsoever we permit on earth is permitted in heaven whatsoever we allow on earth is allowed in heaven so tonight god wants us to take charge he wants us to stand on this eternal word that is undying and say no to every evil happening in our lives somebody say no and say no to every sickness every bondage every affliction of the devil every cross of the enemy somebody say no and say no to every evil in our family somebody say no and say no to every evil in our nation somebody say no even your saying no is an answer when that no gets to the throne of god heaven stamps it as no somebody say no i want to declare some people are already speaking that oh election 2023 nigeria will scatter but the church is saying no what are you saying to that uh, let it be louder some people are saying election 2023 uh, nigeria is going to go to war somebody say no the church of christ is agreeing that every evil that the enemy is plotting against our nation whether nigeria or any other nation of the world collectively here on the authority of christ we say no somebody shout no let heaven hear your no and then we say all the good things all the blessings the breakthroughs the love the mercy the glory that going to god wants to unleash upon your life upon your family upon your business upon your career upon your ministry we say a resounding yes somebody shouts yes if you're saying yes shout hallelujah so which means each and every one of you that is agreeing with the body of christ to say yes to all the good things all the evil things that the enemy has planned you will not be a victim of any of it it says there shall be no evil before thee neither shall any plague come near your your dwellings but all the blessings that god has packaged for the remainder of this year and for 2023 those blessings will land upon your head from tonight if you believe you come and shout hallelujah when we decree when we bind we don't need to stay too long your no is no your yes is yes before the throne of god all right that's the authority that jesus christ has given to us he has given us power to tread on serpents and on scorpions and over the power of the enemies he has given us a decree and it shall be established and we're going to do exactly that tonight somebody say amen. amen one of the ways to do it is through the prayer of faith 
when we stand as a church and we pray in faith and we pray in agreement we pray in simplicity we pray in sincerity we pray with all of our hearts and we pray in humility and purity heaven hears our voice and heaven says amen now all the prayers you will pray in this house tonight heaven will say amen somebody who believes that say a louder amen so what are the works of the enemy in your life sickness in your body barrenness of the womb affliction poverty lack depth now we want to prohibit them we want to bind them and you just say one word let it come from your heart all the works of the devil because the bible says for this purpose the son of god was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil so all the works of the devil somebody say no, no. all the blessings of calvary forgiveness deliverance liberty healing breakthrough prosperity glory eternal life somebody say yes that's that's the church at war that's the church speaking with one voice then i don't care whatever nation of the earth you have come from to this place and i don't care what the devil is trying to do we are standing together tonight to resist the enemy the bible says resist the devil and we flee from you one of my daughters came to me some time ago i said daddy pray for me the devil is always running after me it's always after me wherever i go the devil is after me i said okay all right stop 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 i'm not going to pray for you stop running because you are running in the wrong direction make a u-turn and begin to give the devil a chase as a child of god you are not supposed to flee from the devil you are to resist the devil and the devil will flee from you if you believe that say amen it's a, an abomination for you as a child of god a member of the body of christ to be afraid of the devil calvary finished him forever calvary finished him irredeemably if you could not stop jesus from rising from the grave he cannot stop you from fulfilling your destiny whether the whether the devil likes it or not you will fulfill your destiny whether the devil likes it or not you will walk in dominion whether the devil likes it or not all the works of the enemy against our nations will become null and void we are binding tonight and heaven we consider it bound we are losing tonight heaven will consider it loose because christ whose word is eternal whose word can never fail has said it he builds his church upon the rock and the gates of hell shall not prevail are you ready to bind tonight oh let me hear you are you afraid are you ready to lose the blessing of god stand on your feet wherever you are stand like a soldier of christ stand with boldness and courage and you will lift your voice with authority okay lift your right hand to heaven say father in the name of jesus by the authority of the word of christ every work of the devil in my life in my family in my business in my career i bind them i cast them out now 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 come and pray the prayer pray the prayer every work of the devil every curse every sickness every affliction every lack every poverty every shame 
every embarrassment whatever is not the counsel of God for my life for my family for my ministry whatever work of the devil I bind it and I cast it out in the name of the Lord Jesus and I receive total victory over all the works of the devil thank you father in Jesus name we pray bring your prayers to a close in Jesus mighty name we pray lift your hands say father I thank you for the death of Jesus on the cross and his resurrection father every blessing that Jesus purchased for me and my family and my career and my business with his blood I lose them upon me now I lose favor I lose healing I lose deliverance I lose prosperity I lose forgiveness I lose mercy begin to lose the blessing lose the blessing release the blessing every blessing that Jesus purchased on the cross of Calvary with his blood I lose them upon my life and upon my family upon my ministry upon everything I lay my hands upon because Jesus already procured them for me and I receive total victory and blessing now thank you father bring your prayers to a close in Jesus mighty name we pray one or two more lift you and say father in the name of Jesus all the devices of the devil to cause war trouble violence kidnapping and every evil in nations of the world as your church we bind them we cast them out we neutralize them in the name of Jesus pray that prayer pray that prayer pray that prayer every work of the devil every war famine trouble violence banditry terrorism affliction every evil from the pit of hell against our nations we cast them out in the name of Jesus and we release the blessing the glory and the goodness of God in the name of Jesus bring your prayers to a close in Jesus mighty name we pray one more prayer one more prayer now lift your hands say father we pray as your church from nations of the world we pray for the nation of Nigeria come 2023 every plan of the devil to foment trouble crisis war we forbid it in the name of Jesus we prohibit it in the name of Jesus we release peace progress glorious change breakthrough upon Nigeria come 2023 come on pray that prayer pray that prayer pray that prayer we forbid every work of the devil we forbid confusion we forbid war we forbid bloodshed we forbid retrogression we forbid bondage we forbid slavery we forbid affliction we put an end to banditry we put an end to violence we put an end to terrorism in Nigeria we crush it in the name of Jesus and we release peace we release breakthrough we release progress in the name of Jesus thank you father in Jesus mighty name we pray as you are spoken God has done it by the authority of the Lord Jesus Christ every 
works of the devil in your life they are destroyed they are destroyed for it shall come to pass in that day that his body shall be taken from off your shoulders and his yoke from off your neck and the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing on the strength of the word of God every yoke in your life every oppression every affliction every body they are destroyed you have seen them up until today from today you will not see them anymore upon you we lose blessing we lose favor we lose progress we lose grace we release mercy we release prosperity we release abundance by the time you are going back home tonight you are going at a higher level the people that used to know you they will not recognize you anymore you are moving from glory to glory it is done it is settled your blessing is permanent your blessing is irreversible your blessing is irrevocable in jesus mighty name we pray amen give the lord a big 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 hand blessed be his name forever